Hey guys, welcome to the channel and uh, my next tutorial on how to complete the gauntlet encounter in the Leviathan Raid. So here we are inside uh, the gauntlet. If you're not sure how to get here, have a quick look at my uh, video on using the underbelly to get to gauntlet or the one on running standards within the Leviathan Raid. They'll give you a good idea of uh, how you're going to make your way to this encounter right here. So as you can see, it's a pretty big play space. Um, basically works in one big circle. All right, so we've got um, the four symbols that you see throughout the raid. So we've got dogs right up here, some to the right of it. To the right of that, we've got cup, and then further around, we've got axes. So, how this all works out, you're gonna have to split your fire team up to uh, have different people doing different jobs. Now, the strategy that we usually run in this encounter is fixed plate teams. Okay, so that basically means you're working in two teams. You're gonna have four of your fire team whose responsibility it is to hold down each of these areas. So one person holding down dog area, one person holding down sun area, one person holding down cup area, and one person holding down axes. So how it works is this. The plate that I'm now stood on here at dogs when somebody stands on each one of those plates at the same amount of sun, cup and axis, so on and so forth, that's when the encounter starts. Okay, so it's not going to start until one player has stood on each of those plates. Once you've stood on them, you don't need to stay on them, you can move around your area, you can get off them and go pretty much where you want, okay? But you are going to have to have one of your team members responsible for dog plate, one responsible for sun, one responsible for cup, and one responsible for axis. Okay, so once the encounter starts, what will happen is you're going to get uh, three waves of ads that will spawn each plate out the right hand door there and the left hand door there. We're currently over on some plate and the waves of ads, I say, will come in three, three waves, about four ads at a time out each door. The way we usually run this is to have two people stood over at dog plate, one person on sun, two people over at cup and one on axis. Now the spare person uh, that's not allocated for uh, standing and holding down one of these plates, they're going to be the runners, so you're going to have two runners. And they will enter the gauntlet at either cup plate or at dog plate. So that's why you have two people at those two plates, because one of those two people will be responsible for running the gauntlet and their job is to go inside. But anyway, that's probably getting a bit too far ahead of myself. So when the encounter starts, basically, if you're on dog or cup plate, what you can do is stay right at the front here. Um, if you've got pulse grenades, if you're a warlock, if you're a titan, just throw a pulse grenade on the door. That's going to take most of the ads down as they come out those doors right there, okay? So, a quick tip for you. You can stand back to back with the partner that's helping you out. Clear those uh, doors as, as the three waves of ads come. And then once the three waves of ads are gone, um, you can obviously shoot across and help out the guy next door if you want to. But once those three waves of ads are dead, then you're going to get one heavy guy, a big centurion that's going to come out of those doors and you're going to want to take him down pretty quickly. Uh, one rocket and a couple of shots with a primary should take him out pretty quick, okay? So that is going to happen exactly the same on each plate. So the same for axis, same for cups, same for sun, same for dog, and it happens simultaneously. So once the encounter starts, the ads start coming out the doors, left, uh, right side, then left side. Um, they all come out at the same time. Kill those three waves of ads. Once the three waves of ads are dead, then you're going to get a heavy centurion guy comes out. Take him down really quick. Once he's dead, then the gauntlet will open. So the second person that would be here with me on dog play, it would be his responsibility to run the gauntlet. Okay, I'm going to come back to that in a second. So if you're on sun or axe plate, what we tend to do for these is you tend to hold these down on your own. So that's a little bit more tricky. You can't really stay down the front because while well, you're killing the guys that are coming out the right hand door or the left hand door, the guys that are coming out uh, the other side are going to be shooting you in the back. So it's probably best to play these two plates from further back, somewhere back here. Okay, so again, you can focus on one side first, take the ads down as they come out that door, and then just switch sides, take the ads down there. But you want to play a little bit further back just so that you don't die uh, too easily. On normal mode, it's pretty easy. I mean, the ads don't hit that hard, so yeah. So but you just want to you want to stand back. You can use a little bit of this cover as you're doing it, and that's the same for uh, axe plate on the other side. Okay. 
So, once the ads are dead, once the heavy guys are dead, it all plates, as I say, the gauntlet will open up. Now, the gauntlet is the area right at the front. Okay, so behind this orange screen. And as you can see inside here, at the top of the wall, whether you can see that or not, is a symbol for the plate that you are at. So, as you can see on the outside, this is dog plate. And on the inside, you can see exactly the same thing. There is a dog symbol above the wall. Now, you can see this grid, uh, this checkerboard grid. So, basically, you've got three um, three circles, top, uh, one at the left, one at the right, one at the uh, middle. And the same for the middle row and the same for the bottom row. So, as a runner, what will happen is when the, if your job is a runner, when the big heavy guy is killed, an orb will spawn right on top of this gold plate here. Okay, your job as a runner is to go and pick that up by pressing X, or if you're on the Xbox, and you will teleport inside the gauntlet. Now, you're going to see in the wall in front of you, one of these rings will turn red. Now, you don't need to worry if it's left, right, or middle. All you need to do is just work out whether it's top, middle, or bottom. And your job is basically to shout the symbol of the wall first. So you shout dog if you're a runner for dog. So you shout dog. And then shout where you see in this grid, whether it's a red circle in the top, the middle, or the bottom. So for example, I would say dog top. And the guys on the outside will have a job to do shooting, but I'll explain that in a second. So your job as a runner is to shout out the symbol at the top of the wall and then which row you see the red circle in top, middle or bottom. Once you've done that, the guys on the outside, they'll do their job, which again I'll explain in a second. You're going to run towards that wall and you'll jump through the same circle that lit up red because there will be an orb in the middle of it, which will give you a kind of empowerment and buff so that you can stay alive for longer. And you'll kind of run all the way through the gauntlet Keep running around it's just one big circle run all your way around until you get to the next wall you'll look up you'll shoot the sharp symbol so sun and top middle or bottom as to where you see the red circle jump through where the red circle um, was and you pick up your orb again and keep running around all the way around until you hit the uh, next wall the next one will be cup so you shout out cup top middle or bottom as to where the circle is jump through that hole and run around until you get to the very final wall so you run through four walls in total shout the symbol axes and then you shout top middle or bottom for where you see the red ring jump through the red ring and then continue your journey around the gauntlet when you get to back where you started which is dog oh down school boy error wouldn't be one of my videos without me dying in it when you get back to dog you'll basically see um, a kind of a gate at the end with a orb when you see that gate at the end of the orb, you just run through that orb and it will teleport you automatically back outside the gauntlet. Um, you'll be holding an orb charge in your hands and basically when you get teleported back out, you're going to run right to the center of the area, which is where you first spawned in, which I'll show you now. So you run into here and you just hold down the X button to slam that orb into the middle, which will fill up one of these little... Um, Let's call it a little chalice or a little goblet, whatever these things are, whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, so that's it. And then it's rinse and repeat. Same thing happens again. So you go back to where you started. You can orientate for yourself from the middle by just looking at the wall. So I know that I started dog, so I just went out to where the dog symbol was. And the same thing will happen again. You basically get three waves of ads that spawn out of each door, kill those guys, heavy guy spawns, kill him. Once all those are dead, you get an orb that spawns on top of the gold plate, and you'll pick it up, you'll get teleported inside the gauntlet, and again, you'll do the same thing, dog, top, middle, or bottom, just the way you see the circle, and carry on through. Okay, so that's the runner's job pretty much explained. You're going to do that three times. The only difference is, on the second and third time of running the gauntlet, areas of the floor, now I'm not sure if you can see this from here, but you can see that there's dark areas of the floor inside the gauntlet, and there are lighter areas of the floor, so just there where I'm shooting now. The lighter areas of the floor on the second and third run will have dropped away, so they'll just be holes. If you fall down there, you will die, okay? So you've basically got to kind of do a few jumping moves to make your way around the gauntlet and uh, still be calling out your symbol and which circle you see, top, middle, or bottom for the red one. Um, and yeah, jumping through the corresponding circle and then carrying on around, watching out for those lighter areas of the floor that will have dropped away. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the runners. Now, if you're allocating a plate, so I'm going to start off by just doing the dog plate first. Whilst you're on the outside, this plate will have risen back up again. 
So as soon as that runner goes inside the gauntlet, you've killed the heavy guy, your job as a person on the plate will be to jump on top of that plate and stand on top of it. Now, you're listening out for what circle gets called from inside the gauntlet. The way we do this is if you are on dog or cup plate, you shoot tops. This will make sense in a second. If you are on sun or axe plate, you shoot bottoms. And the way that we do it is we team up dog and sun together, chalice and axes together. Okay, so we have teams working together. So what we do is we listen for what's called out inside the gauntlet. So the run up say, for example, calls out dog top. We shoot the highest most triangle that is not called. So he called top, so I wouldn't shoot top. I would shoot the highest next one, which is middle. The guy that's on sun to my right would shoot the lowest most one that's not called. So he would shoot the bottom one. So we shoot those two arrows. The arrows will light up green. As soon as they do, if it is your wall that the runner is running through, so the runner's currently running through my wall now, I would jump down off my plate and I'd come to the front. Just wait for a second and a scion will spawn inside a bubble. I'm going to run up, I'm going to punch that scion, I'm going to go straight back on top of my plate. Now listening out for the runner who's running around the gauntlet, he's about to hit sun, he's going to call out sun middle. I'm going to shoot the topmost one that I didn't hear, so I heard him say middle, so the topmost one is the top, so I'm going to shoot the top one. The sun symbol guy, he's shooting the lowest most one he didn't hear, so he didn't. He, he heard middle, so the lowest most one he heard is bottom. So we shoot bottom, the arrows go green again. The guy that's on sun plate will do exactly the same as I did over on dog. He'll jump off his plate, he'll hang fire waiting for the sign bubbles to spawn, he'll jump off, he'll punch it, he'll get back on his plate. Now, as I say, we're teaming up, so Sun and Dog are teaming together. So Sun's shooting for Dog, the lowest most one for Dog, and Dog's shooting for Sun, the up top most one for Sun, okay? Sun's always shooting the lowest most one, Dog's always shooting the top most one. So as soon as we've got our runners gone through sun plate, we get ready to shoot a dog again because the second runner will have made his way through cup and through axes. He'll now be heading towards dog and he'll get to dog and shout out dog bottom. I'm shooting the lowest most one I didn't hear so I'm on bottoms because I'm currently on sun so I'm going to shoot the middle one. The guy on dog will be shooting the top most one he didn't hear so he heard bottom so he's going to shoot the top. Arrows will go green. Dog plate guy will jump down, he'll punch his sign, he'll get back on, he'll wait for the runner to come around to sun. Listen for what he calls, he calls sun top, so uh, some sun uh, plate guy, he's going to shoot the bottom most one. Dog plate guy shoots the top most one, and sun plate's going to jump down, he's going to punch his sign, he's going to turn around, he's going to get back on his plate. So that's pretty much what you do for plates. It's exactly the same thing for cup and for axes. The guy that's on cup, he's listening out for the cup shout and he's shooting the topmost arrow the guy that's on axes is also listening out for the cup shout he's shooting the bottom most one and then cup swing after he's jumped down punched his side on he's getting back onto his plate he's looking across the axes he's waiting for the call of axes he shoots the topmost one the guy on axes shoots the bottom most one Guy on axis jumps down, punches his sound, we swing back, get ready to look at cup again, wait for the runner to come round, and that is pretty much it. So once the runners have gone all the way around, they get back outside the gauntlet, they run to the centre, they slam their orbs, they're going to go back to the place that they started at, which is the runner's plate, so on this side it's on uh, dog, or on the other side it's on cup. They're going to clear those three waves of ants again, they're going to clear the heavy guys that spawn, once they're dead they're going to... Uh, Runners will teleport into the gauntlet, the people on plates will jump on top of the plates and get ready for the call outs, shoot the arrows corresponding. Now that's going to happen three times. Um, for the guys on plates, nothing changes for you really, it's just a case of clear those ads out. Once the ads are dead, kill the heavy guys out, get up on your platform, wait to hear out what's, what's called out, shoot the ones that aren't called, jump off, punch your scions, get back on your plate, rinse and repeat. The only difference is, is on the third rotation, so the third time that we do this, the plate that we're stood on, this one right here, and the same for the other ones all the way around the encounter, they're going to be kind of jerking up and down a little bit, just to kind of throw you off your aim. Um, best kind of things to use, best weapons if you're doing plates, is a scout rifle or a auto rifle that you can do uh, single tap shots with. 
if you're doing like full shots there is the, the run the risk that you're going to shoot the wrong arrow by accident okay um maybe you've got decent trigger control it shouldn't be a particular issue so that's pretty much the encounter so far this is probably the most complicated one for mechanics once you've done three rotations the runners have gone around three times they get teleported out and they go and slam their orbs in the middle everyone that's been on plates will then join the runners in the middle what will happen now is you'll give, get the opportunity to press X if you're on the Xbox to pick up your orb. So there'll be orbs in the, the runners are filled up in these different sort of goblets or charges, whatever you want to call them. These little housings here will lit up with different orbs inside. You're going to press X to pick them up. So the whole fire team, all six of you, will pick one of those up, and it will now teleport everybody inside the goblet. So you'll now have six of you running the gauntlet all at once. There will be areas of the floor that have dropped away, like I explained before. And you'll all start in this kind of area here, facing the wall. Now, all of the uh, circles in the wall will have opened up, or will be open, and there will be four, on this is on normal mode, there will be four orbs lit up inside those. What you're gonna wanna do is again, work in teams, so if you were in, Dog and Sun Team, so that's the runner that was on Dog and Sun Team, and the two plate guys that were on Dog and Sun Team. You're going to want to decide whether you're going to take orbs from the first wall and the third wall, or the second wall and the fourth wall. You can't take an orb from each wall. If you do that, you're going to guarantee that members of your fire team will die, they will not make it out of the gauntlet, okay? There is not enough orbs for every team member to take one at each wall. So as you're running towards that wall, you're gonna be calling out, so you can, I tend to call out my gamer tag, so I'd be saying Jester, um, bottom left. So I'll just call out my gamer tag and which orb I'm going to take, okay? So if I took an orb from the first wall, I'm not gonna take one at the second wall, I'm gonna jump through an empty hole. Jump through the empty hole, I keep running around the gauntlet, I make my way around to the third wall. When I get to cup, I'll call out cup, uh, top right, I'll jump through the top right hole if that's where the orb is, take the orb, I'll keep on running, I'll skip the next wall because I'm not going to take an orb from every single wall, I'll skip the next wall, and then I will finally make my way around to where the gate is at the end. Now, if you're doing this the same as I've just explained there, and Dog and Sun Team are taking an orb from wall 1 and wall 3, you also need to take the final orb at the gate to teleport out, otherwise you'll die. Okay, so if you're on the other team, on the Axe and Cup team, and you get to this gate first, do not take one of these orbs. Let one of your teammates get there before you. Let them take the orb or they will die, okay? So basically, if I'm taking one from wall one and wall three, I also need to take one at the very end, which you potentially could call um, wall five if you wanted to. You have to take one from there. You get teleported out. Once you get teleported out, you're going to run to the middle with the uh, empowerment that you've got in your hands. You're going to slam it in the middle. Now, um, you need to get enough of your team members out of the gauntlet to do that slam. If you're um, on the other team, so if you're a cup and axe team, you would miss taking an orb from the first wall, you'll just jump through an empty ring, you'll take one from the second wall, then miss one on the third wall, and then take one from the fourth, and as I say, when you get around to this area at the end, when you're running around, you get around to this final area, you don't take an orb from this final area, let your other teammates take it, and then you run through to get teleported out. Everyone runs to the middle, slams their orb in the center, and there you go, you are done. Um, the only caveat is, uh, to that is if um, you need to get four members of your gauntlet, uh, of your team basically out and to slam in the center for you to complete the challenge. Once you do, your chest is going to spawn outside. Uh, it's usually somewhere around here. Okay, your chest is going to spawn, you're going to get your rewards, and yeah, there you go, you're good to go and you complete gauntlet. So everyone runs back to the middle central area drops down and yeah that's pretty much it guys well i say it's probably the most complicated to understand but i will link some footage of me running the uh, gauntlet encounter for doing different bits but doing the running activity for doing the, uh, if you stand on plates uh, and also including the run at the very very end just so you guys get an idea of how how this looks um, 
when the whole thing's in motion. And you see, I've just activated all the plates there, so I'm going to spawn some way for that. But yeah, hopefully that was enjoyable. Hopefully it was useful. Hopefully you learned something if you've uh, not successfully completed the gauntlet before. And uh, if so, please drop a like or uh, subscribe to the channel if you see fit. And I will catch you in the next video. Alright guys, have a good day. Peace.